the red intellect by divine master Sohravardi. Part two, seven wonders. I asked the luminous man where he was coming from. He replied, I come from beyond the gulf, the highest mountain range and the peak of the world. My residence is there. Your nest was also in that realm, but you have forgotten it. What are you doing here? I asked. I am a seeker, he responded. I continually wander about the world and discover stunning things. I asked him to tell me about some of the strange things that he has seen in this world. He replied, this world is full of extraordinary things, but seven of them stand above all others. Tell me about these seven things, I asked. He said, the first one is our original residence, Gulf Mountain Range, which surrounds the earth. It consists of 11 peaks. When you are delivered of your bondage, you will go there because you've been brought from there. Everything that exists eventually returns to its initial form. I asked him how to get to the Gulf Mountains. He told me the way is difficult. First, you have to go through two mountain peaks that are along the way. One is hot and the other is cold. The heat and cold of these two peaks are beyond measure. Oh, that's easy, I said. I shall cross the hot mountain during the winter and the cold one during the summer. You're making a mistake, he said, because the climate of that realm never changes. What is the length of these two mountains? I asked. He replied, no matter how far you go, you always end up in the initial stage, like a compass. One leg of it is on the center of the circle, and the other leg rests on the line of the perimeter. No matter how much it revolves, it always goes back to the place it started. Can a person make a tunnel through these mountains and go through it? I asked. It is not possible to make a tunnel, he said. However, anyone who has the ability can go through them in a moment without making a tunnel. How can I gain such ability, I asked. I will tell you as I speak, if you can understand. After I cross these two mountains, will the rest be easy to go through? I asked. It will be easy only if you know how. Many are trapped eternally within these two mountains. Some have gone through and ended up remaining in the third mountain. A few have gone into the fourth fifth, and so on to the eleventh. 
the more attentive you are, the further you can go. Now that you've told me about the Gulf Mountain, tell me about the other wonders of this world. Another marvel is the pearl that glows in the dark, he said. It is in the third mountain, but it never remains in one state. Dark nights become brightened because of this pearl. Where does the brightness of this pearl come from? I asked. He responded, its brilliance comes from the tuba tree. What is the tuba tree and where is it? The tuba tree is enormous, he responded. Those who are in heaven can see this tree. It is located in one of the 11th mountains. Does the tuba tree have fruit? I asked. Every variety of fruit that you see in this world is on that tree. All the fruit that exists here are produced by it. If it wasn't because of this tree, you would have no fruit, no trees, no plants, and no herbs 